Yes. Look what we have here. Kathleen at the thrift store. Cal surprise. Hi folks, happy whatever day it is. I'm gonna be looking for weird stuff at the thrift store today. And by weird, I mean one of a kind items. Things that just say, that is a choice. And I'm not really trying to buy anything today. I'm more just trying to look around and see what kind of weird stuff I can find, like I just said, because that's fun for me. And everyone has their hobbies. So let's go take a little snoop, a little boop, a little peep, a little pop, and we'll see what we can find. Let's go. You know I'm wearing my checkered pants. Okay, we're gonna look at the furniture first because the furniture section isn't very big, so it should be quick. And this is the first thing I see that I desperately want. Do I have a child? No. Do I still want this? Yes. I think my dog would fit in here. Okay, next up we've got the Great Buys, $2.99 and below. If we're gonna find some weird stuff, it's probably gonna be in here. Can you fathom a worse color palette for a Bahamas t-shirt? That is wholly unappealing. Oh, that's cursed, right? I did find this though. This is very cool. And I think it hits the weird threshold. And it was made by Da Vinci himself. Where the hell have you been, Lilka? So I haven't really found anything super weird yet. So I'm gonna go look in the dresses. You can usually find some pretty unique silhouettes in there. So let's go. I take it back. I just found something pretty weird. Who is she with those lashes? Oh, sheesh, girl. I don't want this. We are in the shoes. Let's see what kind of weird shenanigans we can get into over here. I found these loafers. Kind of match my mask. Those are cool. Too big for me. Too small for Gus. But maybe if I try really hard, I can make my feet grow. Let's see. Yeah, that's going to be a no for me, dog. So sad. Maybe. I found something strange. A platform slipper with a zipper? What could it be? I hope it's not just like an air hole for your toes. What are you supposed to put in here? My absurd brain says you're supposed to put like your snacks or your secrets in here. But you're honestly just supposed to probably put like a heating pack or something. Or warm snacks. Two birds with one stone. These aren't weird, but they are saucy. Let's try them. I mean, it's a look. It's a choice. It's a moment. It's the moment. Zebra? Leopard? Snakeskin? What are these all about though? This reminds me of the scene in The Lion King where they're eating the zebra flesh and it looks so sinfully delicious. Anyways. Are they fugly or are they cool? My barometer is like totally untrustworthy. That was a moonwalk, couldn't you tell? Okay, we're done with shoes, and now we're in like the scarves, the hats, the purses. And this is where people like to show a little bit of their personality. So I think we're gonna find some weird stuff in here. For example, here's a scarf made of pom-poms, made of rabbit fur. I don't know how I feel about that, but it's one of a kind, I'd say. Just a casual intestine scarf. This is iconic. It's giving me Pilgrim bonnet mixed with Bella Swan. What do we think? <laughs> Should I get this to match my mask? No? Okay. Since you asked nicely. <laughs> These are really cute. Should I get them? Yes. Okay, you convinced me. I've been wearing these patent leather tall boots around for a while and they're fun, but I don't think I need them. By the way, here's my outfit. Very school administrator. It's a vibe. 
Okay, we finally made it over to the dresses. Now, fingers crossed that we find some crazy good stuff. Unique dress alerts. I love these squiggly wigglies up here at the top. The color's pretty. Not my favorite to wear, but check it out. Vintage tag, you know I love it. What a specimen. I'm not seeing anything that feels like truly bizarre. I wanna see like a weird graphic or like a crazy color combination. I wanna be wowed, I wanna be wooed. This is not crazy or weird, but it is a two-piece set. And it's kinda hot. I recently actually got this wool and cashmere coat for like $7, it's perfect. And if you haven't seen it, then that probably means you don't follow me on TikTok. So you could follow me on TikTok if you want. That's all. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Little vacation print, two-piece set. She's unique, she's funky, she's weird. Maybe I'll try her on. Oh my gosh. Look at this silky baby. Wow. Made in the USA. Still has the tag. It was $180. I'm trying it. I don't need a wedding dress for obvious reasons. There's a lot going on in the front of this, but there's even more going on in the back. I want this just for the bow. Do I need a cropped white suit? Yes? My card is crazy right now. Jerry to the front, please. Jerry I was like, I'm only going to look for weird stuff and I'm not going to get anything. It's just for fun. It's just to look around. What a fool I was. How naive. I don't think I'll ever learn. I don't think I want to learn. Oh, such a beautiful neckline. Vintage. Union made? Union made. I think if I wore this, it would just blend directly into my skin. So we'll pass, but wowie. Okay, we're really getting into the good stuff now. Look at this. Yeah, it's a jumpsuit. Bet you weren't expecting that, huh? Okay, we've looked through all the clothes. Now it's time to look through the home goods. I already found something really cool. What the heck? We'll leave it for someone else. Just a casual Xbox 360. Um, what does this mean? Okay. We're now in the zone of ephemera. I think this is where the weirdness of the thrift store is really gonna shine through. What is that? Ma'am? My lady? Is it a candle holder? Is it going in my cart? Yes. Oh god, Santa. Are you okay in there? That's gross, dude. All right, you know how it goes. I'm gonna go through my entire cart, see what I wanna even try on, put stuff back, and we'll see where we land. Here's my gorgeous, gorgeous graveyard. All the things that I just, I like, but I just don't think I'm gonna wear, so I'm not even gonna try on. I know, I'm not getting the shorts. I don't need them. So cute. But that does mean I'm gonna try on all of these. Also, I want to show you all the cool, fun accessories that I found. Okay, gonna do this as fast as possible. Lightning round, commence. This is the first thing I'm trying on and I'm already stumped. Um, it's 100% wool, so it feels very luxe. I like the very organic cut of it. It's a brighter orange in person, I think, than it's showing up on camera. <sighs> but would I wear it? I guess we'll find out when I get home if I got it or not. I mean, I'm obviously getting this. This little two-piece set. I feel like I'm going to a bar mitzvah. In theory, I love this. It feels very current. Very Lisa says ga. It's pretty tight. What if I turn this into a two-piece set? Okay, let's do it. Sorry. Mommy. Okay, things I'm not getting, but I just wanted to show you. Cute little vintage Longchamp bag. When I say vintage, it's probably like early 2000s. This woven bucket bag. I would actually totally get this, but the strings are honestly too short. Strings? Straps. The rabbit fur pom-pom checkerboard scarf. I mean, if you're gonna buy fur, secondhand is definitely the way to go. I just don't know if it's my style. A very handmade looking scarf. 
cute. Kind of smells like cheese. So that's going to be a no. I've been waiting to try on this fur bucket hat till the end because I know it's definitely going to ruin my hair. <laughs> so let's try it on now. Yeah, that doesn't fit. Kathleen, I'm back from the thrift store. Remember the beginning of this video where I was like, I'm just gonna look, I don't need to get anything. Don't trust that woman. So I didn't intend to get things from the thrift store. Excuse me. But I did get things from the thrift store and I'm not sorry about it because they're awesome. Everything I ended up getting is super fun and I think they're only gonna serve to amp up my art ant vibes. So let's go on and get into it. Okay, let's get this out of the way. I, I bought two sweater vests, okay? Okay. I was just telling a friend the other day that I'm just a simp for a magenta and red color combo. So I thought this would look so very cute for a Valentine's Day museum date, no? All right, next we've got this knitted flag tank vest thing. I'm not much for Americana, but I immediately thought that I could make this a little more like folk arty if I did some custom embroidery on it and maybe like a quilting star motif. Very Betsy Ross. Obviously I haven't done it yet, so maybe you will see that in a future video. Next, we have the eighth wonder of the world. I love how structured the jacket is and the extra layer of fabric on the skirt is super fun, I think. I do feel like a high powered stepmom from the 90s and it's exhilarating. I think we could modernize this a little bit by bringing up the hemline, like more into mini skirt territory. But anyways, if you'll excuse me, I need to go close some deals using my cellular phone. You know, as high powered stepmoms from the 90s do. Okay, at first blush, this is a mildly boring piece, but it has so many layering possibilities. So I went full art ant here with the ribbon embroidered frock and the platform sandals and socks moment. I feel incredibly me in this outfit, and now I just want to go splash some paint on some walls. There's literally a deer watching me. Can I help you? Ma'am? Do you need assistance? Oopsie, I accidentally bought a saucy Valentine's Day dress. This reminds me of what the mayor's secretary from Powerpuff Girls would wear to like the company Christmas party. And the dress has great swoosh factor. Okay, that's all I have to say, on to the next. Your girl got the wool jacket, I just couldn't say no. It's such a great layering piece and I love, 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 love a blue and orange color combo. I feel like I should be like walking to brunch with the Gorals in New York City circa 2002. I'd love to also add some flair to this jacket, maybe with some needle felting. Did you know I made a video all about that, hmm? So maybe we'll see that in a future video as well. So much potential. So I did end up getting this pom-pom fur scarf, and I mentioned at the thrift store that I was feeling a little unsure because it's fur, and I personally wouldn't buy new fur, but since the scarf already exists and the quote-unquote damage is already done, I can extend the lifetime by taking care of it for years to come. So that's exactly what I plan to do. And finally, we've got this little scalloped number. I do love the duotone moment and the curvy lines, I think just make it so fun. I mentioned possibly trying to turn this into a two-piece set, but now that I'm wearing it, I kind of like how it is. The neutral color palette is also a great opportunity to add some pops of color and the socks and the base layer. Well. Did you like them? Did they feel art anti enough for you? Let me know which get up was your favy. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe you would enjoy my future videos too. Please feel free to subscribe if you'd like. I usually post thrifting videos, but sometimes there's a little bit of arts and crafts thrown in there. I am an art ant after all. If you'd like to keep in touch until my next video, you can follow me on Instagram at Kathleen Illustrated. This is what that's all about. And with that, I will see you in the next five to seven business days. So until then, I love you, bye.
Well, it was in my childhood days. Spirit, now I'm a savior. 